have been dreaming about going to Mars for a long time. And now that we have rovers on Mars, we know we don't have to fear aliens who will attack Earth and also happen to hate yodeling. The next step, from rovers on the red planet to humans. But a machine is one thing. How do we get people there? Going to the moon seems simple in comparison. Trained astronauts get into a spaceship, rocket into space, and land on the moon in just a few days. But Mars? That's a 180-day trip being optimistic. The amount of supplies needed would be astronomical. So scientists have come up with a potential option. Put people into what's called torpor. It's a deep, hypothermic sleep, almost like how some animals hibernate in winter. NASA hopes by reducing an astronaut's metabolic function, it could cut back on cost. The weight of the cargo on the ship would be nearly cut in half. This isn't just something that's going to happen anytime soon. It still requires a lot of testing. Here's how torpor works. If given coolant through the nose, the body temperature is lowered by one degree every six hours. Another option is chemical-induced hibernation. That wouldn't affect body temperature. This all sounds like something out of a science fiction movie, but torpor has actually been used for trauma patients regularly for at least the last decade. However, the longest anyone has been in torpor is about a week. And again, NASA is aiming for 180 days. If scientists do figure all this out, the Mars One project may use the technology too. In April 2013, that program was launched for people interested in becoming permanent Martians. The launch date is set for 2023. According to Popular Science, those people do not have the option of coming back. For Newsy, I'm Lauren Zima.